All right, guys, so Garbage to Glitter is continuing. This is my next project right here. It's a BC Rich Platinum Series. And it's got the little diamond inlays. And now my plan is to take this guitar and we are going to make the ultimate 80s shredder out of this thing. I think I'm going to take these pickups out. I'm going to get rid of these switches. Single humbucker. And we're even going to try to mount the humbucker in there at an angle. So uh, we've got a lot of work to do. So I'm just going to hand this guitar over to my painter. And we'll see it when it comes back. This video is brought to you by Swiss Picks. It's not just a pick. It's a science. Available at Zim's Guitars or at www swisspicks.com all right guys so this is it right here i just got my bc rich back i had it painted one thing that's really fun about this guitar you guys know it was an st3 so it had a humbucker single single well we filled in both of the cavities where the old single coils were at and my painter he was even able to take the routing and move it over to the side so that we could have this set in at an angle like that so it's a uh, kind of a dark army green color with more of a lime kind of thing in the center here with some glitter the back is basically the same kind of thing but what I want to do is uh, I want to take it out into the light so we can see it out in the sunlight. So follow me out here. Okay, so here it is in the sunlight. It's got beautiful sparkle in it. It just turned out really nice. I mean, it, there's a little bit of buffing and that could probably be done, but overall, I am very happy with how this turned out. And now it's time to just put the pickup and the bridge and put it all back together. So here we go. Let's do it. Okay, I got a brand new 500k pot. I'm using the original screws, even though they're all rusty, but I put a little dab of some uh, black marker on them. some solder on it and then find something to kind of hold it in place there we go All right, so this is the pickup that I have decided to put in this guitar. And it looks to be a DiMarzio. And uh, I'm going to just me shove these wires through here. And I think I'm going to try to direct mount this. And so I have to get some foam or something, but I'm going to put that, geez, I don't know, uh, kind of needs a pickup ring, huh? Because there's a lot here, but what do you think? How's that look? I guess they're all like that. Yeah, so this is the... I'm going to try to use this one. 
So I've got some of the pickup screws right here. And they're not very long, but I think um, they'll, they'll be okay. Now I gotta get a bunch of foam or something to put underneath this. So let me see what I got. Okay, so I have uh, some foam that came out of a box of pickups. And I'm just gonna cut this stuff and uh, throw it in here and hope for the best. There's a lot of hoping and praying that goes on. Let me see where I want to cut it here, about right in here. Okay, let's take a look at that. Well, this baby's going to sit on top of that. It's thick, but I think that'll be good. So now I just have to screw these down in here. One thing that's nice about this pickup is um, I think it's already stripped out here on each side where you would normally thread the screw through that. This is already stripped out. This pickup's already stripped out. And so I have to just drill a little tiny hole to get these screws started. And so uh, I'm just going to center this and just kind of eyeball it. Turn that off. Let me get my drill and a little tiny drill bit. <clears throat> I think the white looks nice in there. It's kind of cool looking. Okay, so again, just a small hole here. You don't want to go all the way down because you can go through the body and come out the back. And uh, you know how I know that can happen? is because I've done it. That one went down in there nicely. You know, I probably should have put some black on these because again, these are rusty. So I'm just going to do this. I want it actually on the screw and not so much on my finger. Let's see if we can get this one to go in that little hole. That's down in there. Very nice. See if I can hit that screw head a little right there. Yep, makes a big difference sometimes. Okay, let's run this one down a little. How's that look? That looks pretty cool right there. So let's go ahead and I'll turn my soldering iron back on. And we'll, iron, and we'll uh, install this. So uh, let's look at this for a second, just to see what we've got going on here. That's a DiMarzio. And uh, if I put my ohm meter on here, twist these two grounds together. And the green wire is actually 
the positive and the black is the ground and this pickup, let me set this here so you guys can read that. There we go. Okay, so the green wire is the positive and the grounds. Look at that, 12.63. This thing is going to scream. Screaming meanie right there. The screaming greeny meanie. So this is looking fun already. I'm having a riot. I get paid to do this, you guys. Can you believe that? My life is this good. This is what I get to do for fun. While I'm hanging down, down here at my guitar shop. I do this stuff for fun. Alright, so let's solder this together. The red and the white wires, if you want to coil tap this, or coil split, I should say. And this guitar should be alive right now after this. That's all there is. That's why I love these single hum. Because this thing, she should be alive. Oh yeah, here we go. What do you guys think, huh? What do you guys think? Oh yeah! There it is. She's quiet. I like it. I was given this volume knob right here, but I don't want to put a fender knob on it. So I have... These are the original ones. And it looks like it should just sit right on there. There we go. So easy. Today's string choice. Super Slinky, 9 through 42. Exactly what this guitar needs, the finishing touch. Nine gauge strings in standard tuning. So, two things to look at right now. It looks like my string spacing on both sides of the neck it looks really good. So I think the neck went back into the pocket really well. And then the strings over top of the pickup, they look really good. I can see pole, the string is right over top of each pole piece. So uh, this thing, wow, I'm starting to really dig this guitar. All right, guys, so I have it all strung up, and um, I'm having a little bit of trouble with the Floyd as far as it's staying in tune, and in my opinion, this pickup, the pickup doesn't sound really good when I play it through my amplifier that I have up in the, in, uh, behind my, the counter. You know, I have that Fender amp that I play through all the time, and the pickup doesn't sound good to me. So, uh, you know, and a little bit of problems with the Floyd, I, uh, I went ahead and I put a piece of wood in there to block the Floyd so you can't really pull up on it. I thought that would help with some tuning stability. Um, you know, the Floyd, it's kind of old, and I think what's sort of happening is the one side right here where it's setting in the post it's not really setting in there very well. It's an old guitar and it's hard to get going really, really good. But right here, in my practice amp back here. I guess it sounds okay in its clean channel. 
But I'm going to, believe it or not, I'm going to uh, go through my extra parts and extra pickups that I have laying around. And man, it's a lot of work, but I'm thinking about changing this pickup out. For some reason, I mean, it looks awesome in there. But that's kind of what happens a lot of times when I get, when guys trade in used pickups or they're like, hey, Dane, you can just have all these old parts. I end up getting some stuff that doesn't always sound really good. So I might change this pickup out. Okay, here we go. I'm changing this pickup back out. Now call me crazy. But, um, I, you know, I, I want this thing to sound good. And this isn't a guitar that I'm going to hang on the wall and put a price tag on it. This is a guitar that I'm going to have lay around. And I'm going to sit around and play this thing and enjoy it, you know. And, uh, you know, if somebody wants to shoot me an offer on it one of these days... I can consider offers, but in the meantime, I got to get this thing sounding good, and that's just for me. So I'm going to pull these springs out of here. And I just use needle nose to do this. Okay. And I did just put that uh, trim block on there a few minutes ago so the glue might I put a little bit of wood glue under that okay so there we go let me go ahead and take this back plate off yeah I'm doing this for me I mean, I could, again, I could just hang it on the wall and try to sell it. But, uh, this is the kind of thing that makes it so much fun when I come to work. And on those, you know, Tuesday afternoons, when it's quiet in the store, I, I sit and play these things. And, uh, that's the great thing about my job. I can play guitar for a while. And then when I finally decide to sell it, you know, at least I've had that all that time where I've had, you know, a good amount of time to play the guitar and really enjoy it before it's out the door. Just like that Ibanez Iceman that I did a couple videos ago. Uh, it sold, but I, uh, I played that thing for a month or two. A little touch up paint on that block that I glued in there. Just to kind of disguise that a little bit so it doesn't really draw your eye right to it. Yeah, again, this pickup was most likely given to me. A lot of guys, they work on stuff and they and I got some great friends down here, and they're like, Dane, I just want you to have a bunch of stuff. I got no use for it anymore. But in my opinion, this pickup right here, it just did not sound very good to me. So, I don't know which one it is, what the name of it is. But it just didn't sound very good to me under my distorted tone that I always go with okay so single pickup now I do have the whole uh, little thing right here that shows us north and south and so honestly I don't think in a single pickup guitar it matters but I'm gonna go ahead and put north to north and when you build these kind of things, you know, not really building it, but when you take old guitars and you mod them and you put a new paint job, you know, it's all about what the guitar looks like, you know? And uh, so that's why that white pickup was so appealing to me. 
just because it looks cool in there. But this black one's not going to be so bad. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if we got any, see if we got any juice. It's happening. All right, I'm going to tune it back up. And uh, tune it back up and see how it plays and, and how it sounds. Okay. I can tell it's going to be way better. It sounds so much better already. the back plate for it but I'm gonna leave that off for a while and uh, you know make sure that it's all tuned up and everything I think having that block in there is gonna help with uh, that Floyd being kind of old and kind of weird okay All right, I'm going to take it up to uh, the front of the store where I have my little practice amp that I like to play through. And uh, we're going to get a good listen and see if I like it. Okay, it's coming close. Let me check the tuning one more time. I changed that pickup out. of a player but I love it it's the color of money um, I did change this pickup back out I'm really happy I did that because this one sounds a lot better all the frets feel nice and smooth there's not any pits or any little dents in any of the frets uh, it just turned out really cool I'm super happy I own this thing <laughs> things together and it is a BC rich that we repainted it went from garbage to glitter so lucky to have it I will sell it if somebody comes in I'm not gonna put it on Craigslist or anything like that I'm not gonna put it on reverb but if you're any of you guys are interested and you're close to my shop here in the Phoenix area anyhow there it is thank you guys for watching it is my BC Rich that I had repainted. Um, just lots of fun. The Floyd's a little bit on the, you know, 
hoping it stays in tune. I think once the strings stretch out nicely and everything, that's going to help a lot. So there you guys go. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a great day. Go buy a guitar.